boy. Hi. Um, today is April 19th. I know, I'm not supposed to really be putting dates on these things because people might not want to go back. But this is my marker. I mean, like, if you find something you like, you can put in the date, maybe, on Lou's Touch. I don't know. Because I haven't really got good titles on things. I got a lot of Walk with Lou's and uh, Visit with Lou's and The Ramblings of Lou. <laughs> and I've only got a couple of those. Um, and then there's some I talk about my magical healing ointment. And sometimes it just comes in the middle of nowhere because uh, it just depends on what happens with my mind, what I'm thinking about at the time. And there I am. I can rhyme. <laughs> I do like to rhyme. <clears throat> okay, so there's just so many things. And I had a good spiel going on, and I thought I was recording, and then it... When I look down, you know, because you can't really see when you're out with the sun. And I look down and it had the play symbol. I'm going, huh? Because I'm supposed to be recording. So I messed up. There wasn't anything there. So I, I must not have even recorded at all. So I guess I should start that in here and still go outside. Um, this time I left the door open. Okay, so I got a, a new drink at the store today. A new one for me, okay? My sister came, Teresa, and her husband, and they um, they had this drink, the ice. Okay, I've been seeing the ice for a long time. Just this ice across it, and it's a skinny bottle, okay? So they're 99 cents, I believe. Sometimes maybe 97, hold on. <sighs> So this is not the ice, okay? This one is called Clear American. And then this one is Pineapple Orange. I'll show it to you. Okay, so this is the same size, the same uh, type of bottle. Uh, the ice, <coughs> if I remember right, and I've got a bottle somewhere, has no sugars, no carbs, and it tastes really good. And I did not see bad stuff in it. I mean, there's certain things I know. I don't want anything to do with aspartame. And anything that sounds similar to aspartame, I bet is a derivative. <laughs> they changed the name so you don't know. Well, if it's close, I don't want nothing to do with it. So I got enough. I mean, we all have enough going on with the environment fighting us. All the bad things, oh my goodness. And you know, all that bombing and stuff going on, you don't think that's coming across in the air? It's covering the earth? You wouldn't think so, but you know, when that mountain blew up, when Mount St. Helens blew, the ash covered the whole earth. It went around the whole earth. I'm, okay, I'm gonna have to stop that and say, okay, I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty damn, I'm pretty sure. It did. And it started out pretty black. The ash. We were pretty close. I would think we were within 30 miles. That's pretty close uh, to Mount St. Helens. And she blew up. I want to say she blew up May 18th, 1980. I see the day might be wrong, but I believe it was still May and it was 1980. That's the year my trailer was made. Okay, so this drink I was just gonna share with you. When I was um, a teenager and lived in Sandy, Utah, we had a drink there called Cactus Cooler. And I looked it up, you know, within the last couple of years, I looked it up because really I love that drink. And I find that they sell it in California. 
I'm not sure where, but cactus cooler. Okay, so what cactus cooler was, was pineapple and orange mixed together. And that is what this is, pineapple orange. And so it's pretty good. Let me see here. I tasted it because we opened one in the house. And uh, I told Daddy he could have that one, I'll have this one. Okay, this one is saying that the whole container is the serving size, one bottle. That makes it easy because that wouldn't be true and some other things. Okay, calories for this bottle, five. Five. <clears throat> Total fat, zero. Sodium, 10 mgs, whatever, it says zero percent. Total carbohydrates, one. I think ice had zero, I'm not sure. But I would think this is the, uh, you know, like a generic equivalent or a knockoff or whoever's brand. But they're doing it good because they are competing. And that's like 30 cents cheaper, isn't it? 97 to 60, it was 66. I thought they were gonna be 68, but I must have saw it wrong. Because on the receipt it says 66. It's got eight, <clears throat> eight essential vitamins and green tea extract. Green tea, I've been finding out that green tea is really good for you. Um, probably in fighting cancer. And I've got my shades on so I can't really see, but I tried to read through this. And I sure hope that there's no nothings like bad stuff in there. But there are vitamins and stuff like that. And I will have to do this without, without my shades. Okay. I'll just do it. So for my eyes are just not that great either. Got vitamin D. So I can't see that that good. I can't tell if that's D3, you know, because D3 is all the everything. And D calcium. But where would the sugar be? It would be up at the top. Let's see in there. So let's see. Pineapple juice concentrate, orange juice concentrate, apple juice concentrate, potassium benzenate, I think that is a preservative, and potassium sorbate, preservative is a, yeah, that's what it says, preservatives. Ascorbic acid, I think that's vitamin C. It is vitamin C. Sugar. No. Sucralose. Okay. Well, I'll have to look that up, but I think I've looked it up before, and I'm thinking that it is one of the different processes in refining the sugar. It goes through a lot of different processes. And this is something to do with sugar. But all sweeteners, it says includes zero grams added sugars. It's got vitamin D, vitamin A, vitamin C, niacin, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, biotin, 5-MCGs, not very much, but you know, uh, pantoth... Uh, some type of acid, but anyway, it's supposed to be good for you. Not a significant source of saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, dietary fiber, calcium, iron, or potassium. Carbonated water. First ingredient is carbonated water. Citric acid. Natural flavor. Pineapple juice, concentrate. Okay, I'm gonna have some. 
<laughs> I can't read it. They make it too hard to read. Real light color on top of uh, my eyes are just not good. And I, I don't have an up to date prescription. They messed up my prescription last year. Okay. Now I'm, I think these glasses are stronger than the prescription they gave me. Plus, we tried out something new. We tried out a. Um, I wanted to get rid of this line across there so you can see my eyes. And um, so she she gave me some that had a circle. So there's the circle in the middle. So maybe I just didn't give them a chance for me to get used to them. Pardon me. Flavored sparkling water beverage with other natural flavors. Eight essential vitamins and green tea extract. Pretty cool. Okay, so this is going to be my new type of deal. I haven't been doing anything but water, and I still should do water, but I want a little flavor. And, you know, soda... It's too sweet for one thing. And it's only good if you go ahead and have it right at the To me, to me, I like it over ice. I like that little bite it's got. But once that fizz is gone, I mean, once that first part of it is gone, it's like syrup. And it's flat and it's caca. In my opinion. So a lot of times, I mean, you got to guzzle it down for you to enjoy it. Or you're ending up throwing it away. And it's just not good for you. If you're drinking something that's like syrup, it was like syrup when you drank it. When it had the bite. <laughs> it was still like syrup and you didn't know it. It was camouflage. Dad gummit. I can't believe I did all that. I, I was out there walking. <laughs> walking and talking. I don't know if I sang anything. Doesn't really matter. I just need to be happy. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to choose to be happy. No matter what. Hopefully they'll be good. Great things. Great things are coming. There's bad things coming too. The boogeyman. <laughs> it's not funny, is it? No, there is bad things coming, guys. All that stuff that's going over there, going on over there, that war. Our children are over there. Anyway, that's affecting us. Not just over there. There's going to be a lot of fallout. And we're going to feel it. But anyway. You know, let's just try and do good. And I, I'm talking about in our heads too, you know, instead of dwelling on the bad, we need to dwell on the positive. And I'm talking about in, in every little thing, not just some things. Some things is real hard to be positive about. But you just have to learn how to control things. Instead of being controlled, we need to control. <laughs> Easier said than done. Be a wizard. Be a wizard within your life, okay? <laughs> Be smart. Okay, so I know I said that to you guys before. I mean, that's if you guys listen to every single one of my things. But um, what was it I said? <laughs> oh, it's very important what, what it was said. <clears throat> Jesus Christ said to his apostles when he sent them out to preach, 
We sent them out by twos, just like we do our missionaries. We sent them out to preach the word, teach the word, not just preach, okay? To, to tell stories, to bring the kingdom. Like, uh, like on The Chosen, it says that Jesus said, and I'm not going to tell you what I meant to tell you. Jesus says to, when he, this is what it says on The, on the Chosen. He put his finger up towards the sky, and he says, I want you to tell them the kingdom of heaven is at hand. And then I don't know what after that. But also, he gave them, according to the chosen anyway, and I think they're doing it pretty legit, um, he gave them part of their power. Part He gave them part of his power, okay? Just kind of like the Holy Ghost. Because they didn't have the Holy Ghost yet because Jesus was there. He said that I can't give you the Comforter until I leave. And the Comforter is the Holy Ghost, which is a portion. And just, just check it out. Just hold it in your head. A portion of Jesus Christ's Spirit to be in you. You know, not be possessed by a devil, but be, and not really possessed by Jesus Christ, but you can have him there probably depends on I mean as when you come to the church you're baptized you're forgiven of all your sins you go down into the water and you wash off the old creature you come out of the water a whole brand new person you get to start fresh and hopefully your sins, I mean, we're all going to make mistakes and all have problems and stuff like that. But try to keep them minuscule. <laughs> try to keep them small. You know, you, and it doesn't mean that you can't have forgiveness again. But here's the deal, you know, forgiveness is predicated upon the intent of the repentance. You can't just say, I'm sorry, you know, hell married, la, 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 and then you're done. No, that's not how that goes. <laughs> you have to feel remorse. There, there's steps to repentance. I talked about that in one of my videos before. But, you know, first of all, you got to recognize you've done something wrong. Okay? And sometimes we don't always know what we've done wrong. Because we're just oblivious. Anyway. So first you got to recognize you've done something wrong and you've got to feel sorry for it. I think that's the second one. Feel sorry. So recognize, remorse. And then you got to try to make it right if you can. I mean, you're not always going to do that, be able to, but be quick at times in many ways, you know, be quick at times to repent too. When you recognize you've done something wrong, immediately take care of that. And then what you do is you talk to the Lord about it, okay? I'm not saying run to your bishop every time you turn around. That's for the more grievous things. You know, like infidelity. Like all kinds of bad things that people do. But you try to do like you should do, and that is take care of it with the one that you have the grievance with, okay? And if you need to say you're sorry, you need to say you're sorry. And that doesn't mean they have to forgive you, but at least you have tried. I mean, it's just a thought. You don't have you don't have to go full beans, full 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 force with that particular thing I just said. I think if you feel remorse, you recognize, you feel remorse, you ask for repentance. I mean, you ask God, ask Jesus to to forgive you. <laughs> and I mean, you know then you decide in your head, do you, do you need to go and approach that person and say you're sorry and this and that? You know what I'm trying to say? You've got to feel sorry and then you need to ask for forgiveness. And even if it's just asking the Lord, letting the Lord know that you realize you've done wrong and please forgive me, you know? There's no way you can go back in time and find everybody that you need to be forgiven. <laughs> I'm talking about, I've moved around an awful lot. I don't know where these people are. And they would just be old boyfriends anyway, so. 
not just boyfriends, maybe old friends, whatever, that got carried away. Because people always want more than you can give. Anyway, it's personal, it's private between you and the Lord. And then you just figure out if you can feel good about it. You know, because there's just some things you can't really undo. Nevertheless, hopefully we all grew, you know, we go through our struggles and we grow. But sometimes, especially in marriages, that's many years involved. Two years in a courtship, six years in a marriage, and then you have the child forever. But the growing up, 18 years of not having her dad there, you know, he never was there because he removed himself before. Anyway, that was a sad note. I didn't mean to do that. That song is in my head. I want to sing it as beautiful as he does. And I was doing really good in my bedroom. It was just coming out of my mouth. I'll never fall in love again until I find her. I find you. Georgia. Do, 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 do. I want ya. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that's gonna come out of my mouth real good before long because I am going to purposely listen to that over and over again. I think it is beautiful. The melody is just beautiful. I like it. I can't say I like it. I'll have to say I love it. Okay. So. I was trying to read you this bottle, that's why I took off my shades. And I guess I touched it in the wrong place or did something weird. I thought I was recording and it was said, <laughs> it said hit play, you know. So, sucralose, we'll have to look that up. Cause that's, I am finding that in a lot of things, sucralose. Maybe a half an hour is the just right amount of time for a video, huh? All I know is I had a couple of videos that had a lot more views. And they were about a half an hour long. I suppose they had in common. And then the other videos were an hour long, so... I mean, if you had a long ways to go in traffic and stuff, or a long commute, we'll say, then the hour long is good, hour and a half long is good. Or if you can put it in your earbud, you know, put it in your ear and go for a walk, which that, that would be, I was going to say optimal. <laughs> I don't think that's the right word. Anyway, that would be the thing to do. If you had a way... You know, like the internet followed you or whatever. Or maybe you have unlimited data and you can just have your data on. I don't know if that works. But the point is, and I found my, um, I want to call them earbuds, but they're not. So what are they? They're the things you put in your ears, ear, ear, earphones. <laughs> in other words, they still have a cord on them. But at least I found them today. I think I put them in my purse, so hopefully I can find them when I need them because okay. I guess I can't have any of that I will wait until I am done with this video we're at 24 minutes I've got that song I was trying to listen to that song I'll never fall in love again until I find her 
So that's a really good sentiment, guys. Till you find the right one. Or maybe you already found her and you're trying to find her again. Because sometimes we can lose our people. But I, I'm not positive what his meaning is because I haven't listened to the whole song. I just know that one part is just so beautiful. So that can just play in my head over and over again. So. I walked a little teeny tiny bit and found out I was not recording. <laughs> but that was probably just as well. Who knows what I was talking about. Do, do, do. Okay. Georgia. Do, 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 do. I want you. He's telling her the words that I'm not saying right there. Is he's telling her he wants all of her. I want just. And I understand that because you know. In communication with someone and you can't be with them and stuff and you, you want them I want you and that's what you tend to say a lot is I want you <laughs> so I understand that song I'm just gonna have to listen to all the words so I can have them come out but it was interesting this morning because I'm clear back in mom and dad's old bedroom when they first moved here that's the room they had when they were younger and um, nice big glass I mean mirror doors I had a lot of room there and I was just doing stuff in the bedroom and it was just all blowing out of my mouth <laughs> and it sounded good so that was amazing because he certainly sounds good when he's singing it all right, so I'm going to have to put my drink back in the fridge, and then I probably should just have water. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. I'm going to be sad to find out if sucralose is bad. That's not going to be good. Well, really, <laughs> I didn't tell that story either. No, what I was going to say, this car is kind of like station wagon. I mean, basically, that is what it is. I think dad, no, I can't say that. I was going to say for the most part, dad always had station wagons, but that's not true. There was a time he drove a car that was, if I can take my coat off, no, converted to propane. So it drove, you, you could switch it between propane and gasoline. Well, I feel like I could take my coat off. Do, do. And I also was just going to do a 30 minute video. <laughs> but you know, maybe that is what I should do. 
is fixing to be there. I will say goodbye. You guys have a great one, okay? Maybe a 30-minute video will do better than an hour one. And I'll just start another one because I'm fixing to go walk now. <laughs> you guys have a good one, okay? Thanks for tagging along.